How's it going everyone? One Dr. Genius here and in this video basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move myself a step further in my quest on getting myself Meg May on getting myself the new mythical epic Star Blast. Right, so you guys can see the epic has come around Prodigy, but unfortunately what happened is it's taken me up until this long to even get the items for it. So I really wasn't able to get them easily. So now let's head on straight to it. Let's head on to our video and start the search. Okay, our search will start over here, which is near the top side of Bonfire Expire. We're gonna go into battle against this bird and see if the bird is the one guarding the chest. And let's see, was it battle has started? And it seems like the bird was not. Well, we've defeated the bird. We got one magical egg, and now we can move on forth. And now there's only one more. Well, let's open this over here. Okay. Nope. Okay. It seems like that that flowering plant does not have itself the items which we require. So now let's go and battle puck and see if that guy does. Okay, so Mr. Puck has been defeated, and as you guys can see, it seems like we got no new items, and now let's head up over to the side and see if there's any switches which we can flick in order to get access to areas quicker. Okay, so we can't cross across over there, so let's just flick this over here. Let's go down. And let's go to the side over here and see if it has any items which we can unlock. Okay, so it seems like it doesn't have any items. That's nice. I guess it's time to unflick the switch. Okay. Okay, so let's check over here. There's not. Okay, guys, so after a little bit of switch flicking later, as you guys can see, we've now arrived at this area, which is just a little bit lower in Bonfire Spire. As you can see, we've only gone one floor lower, and as you guys can see, we opened the plants over here from which we really didn't get anything meaningful. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cross over to the side of the next button loads. Okay, it has. So I think I'm just going to cross up over here. As you guys can see, there is a lever over there. As you guys can see, there's a level, level over there. It's on green, so let's try crossing across from over here. And perhaps, maybe there's just something across on the other side. Let's cross across over here, and as you guys will see, is that from the molt. Alright, so as you guys can see, if we go towards the flower thingy majiggy, you guys can see we still got ourselves absolutely nothing. It seems like we're not getting the items. And I am quite sure I did go on the search for whatever this guy is called. Star Blast. As you guys can see, I have started the search, and somehow I also have one molten metal. I do not remember collecting that. Okay, so I guess we'll need to flip up the mirror so we can walk down over here because it's kind of going to be a problem if it stays like that. Okay guys, so another fun fact is that you can actually get yourself the molten lava from this crate over here next to this lever. And if you're wondering where in the world is this lever, well what you guys will see is it's right over here, right? You can just go from this area and you will find the crate. It's quite simple, that's all you have to do. And if you're wondering how we get here, well if you guys go from top you will find this area quite easily. It's okay, once you've done that, I'd recommend crossing the bridge and heading to any easily visible objects. Like that guy. And upon the opening, it seems like we also get ourselves another batch of molten metal. And the only thing that you need to do is get it once again. And when you look at that, there seems to be another crate. Is this the one with the last molten metal which we need? Yes, it does seem like that that's the last... It's not? Ah, yes. It does seem like that was the last crate which we needed. And now you guys can see... Is that I have both of them available in my inventory. Now all I need is the metal flower, which I will get tomorrow. But as you guys can see, I've completed the task now, and we've gotten everything down. So now all I need to do is I need to battle this epic once, right? I haven't battled it yet, so I'm quite excited to try doing that. Let's do that quickly. Okay, so now let's battle our mythical opponents and see what type of things which they actually have in their inventory. Right, as you guys can see over here, we have 2 out of 3 of it equipped, now let's go and fight in the battle.
Right, so as you guys can see over here, we found Ula, and then if we talk with her, as you guys can see is that it says that she basically talks with us, we can give her the Molten Meadow, and she's like, goodbye wizard, I found the pet, and then you can track it down, which is quite simple, just click on the area where it is, and just search around while looking for notes or sparkles, which will indicate where it might be. Yes, yeah, so as you guys can see down over here, we got ourselves sparkles. So right over there, you guys can see is our opponents. Now let's go and engage them in a battle. But before that, a word from our sponsor, uh, me, because we don't have any. All right. So as you guys can see, now we can go and attack Star Blast. Okay, I really have no idea which monster we're in a battle against, but it does seem like we're in a battle against Star Blast. So all we have to do is just attack this guy. It kind of looks like some. It looks like some more mechanized, mechanized version of Big Hex. And as you guys can see over here, we cast our spell, meaning we'll probably have to cast five of them. Oh, okay, it seems like that even- Okay, it seems like that the Mythical Epic even keeps the amount of taming which you've done previously with it. That is gonna be quite nice. That means I can basically reload this thing like 10 times and still be able to keep the same amount of taming, which would be nice. And it seems like that the amount of battle turns which you have less reset, so if you just reload in the middle of the battle, it, I guess this will happen. Okay. Trick. Trick, which you guys probably didn't know. Okay, as you guys can see, it seems like that our opponent is still in the same location, so we can go into battle directly against him, and I think we'll be able to cast 3 or 4 spells, which should be more than enough to tame it. And as you guys can see, this guy is already near being completely tamed, it seems like that they fly into battle with their hands crossed out to their side, and attain a boxing position when ready to fight. As you guys can see, its hands occasionally rise up with its fists closed, one in front of his hand, and the other one behind. The form is not too bad, it's guarding the chin, okay. And you guys can see it's bouncing back and forward on its feet, ready to strike. But for some reason, it stays back and doesn't go into hand-to-hand -hand combat, which I think it would be superior in. But as you guys can see, now that I've answered my question, you guys can see we cast our spell on our opponents. It seems like they aren't tamed, and it seems like that they basically just clap their hands together to create a supersonic light speed thingy-majiggy which then causes an electric strike on top of us. Which is quite boring from a robot which looks like it knows how to box. Like, I'd expect a boxing match full on like 50,000 people watching as you go pow 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 pow. But anyways, as you guys can see, that is how I just chained myself part of Blast Start. Now the only thing which I need to do is find those six flowers and basically record the next two battles. But yeah guys, that's gonna be all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please do hit the subscribe button, turn that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already, I really appreciate that. Thank you to everyone for doing that, I'll be catching you all next time, one Dr. Genius out the house, bye and have a good time, bye!